dear students, uh, I am Dr. V. Ramchandra Murthy <coughs> from M. S. Ramaya Institute of Technology. I will be taking classes on Advanced Mathematics 2, MATD 401, in particularly the chapters on vectors. Uh, this is in continuation to the uh, classes conducted by the earlier teacher in the same chapter vectors and my portions <coughs> uh, starts from curl and divergence, solenoidal and rotational vector fields and other simple and direct problems and vector entities etcetera. <coughs> so, first of all let me give the definition of gradient, this has been already discussed by the previous teacher in the earlier classes divergence and curl. So, before that it is very essential to def define the vector differential operator which is used to define these three quantities. The vector differential operator del <coughs> written as grad del is defined as del is equal to dou by dou x that is partial derivative with respect to x i cap plus dou by dou y j cap plus dou by dou z k cap or it can also be written like i into dou by dou x plus j dou by dou y plus k dou by dou z. This vector operator possesses properties analogous to those of ordinary vectors and it is very useful in defining three quantities which arise in practical applications and are known as gradient, divergence and the curl. The gradient, <coughs> let phi be defined and differentiable at each point x comma y comma z in a certain region of space that is phi defines a differentiable scalar field then the gradient of phi written as del phi r g r a d grad phi is defined by grad phi is equal to dou phi by dou x i cap plus dou phi by dou y j cap plus dou phi by dou z k cap this i j k cap are unit vectors in the direction of x y z respectively or it can also be represented i cap into dou phi by dou x plus j cap into dou phi by dou y plus k cap into dou phi by dou z. So, note that this grad phi uh, defines a vector field. The divergence, <coughs> let vector v with components v 1, v 2, v 3, v 1 i cap plus v 2 j cap plus v 3 k cap be defined and differentiable at each point in space that is V defines a differentiable vector field then the divergence of the vector V written as del dot V or div V is defined by divergence of V that is del dot V is equal to dou V 1 by dou x plus dou V 2 by dou y plus dou V 3 by dou z that is differentiating each component with respect to x, y, z respectively. So, though it is analogous to the other vectors, del dot v is not equal to v dot del because del is a vector differentiable operator. <coughs> the divergence of a vector field has an important physical significance. If v is the velocity of a moving fluid at a point p at any point at any time t, then divergence of v represents the rate at which the fluid flows out of a unit volume enclosing the point p. Similar meaning is attached to divergence v when v is the electric field or any other physical quantity which is a vector. In many practical applications we deal with vector fields whose divergence is 0. Such vectors are called divergence free vectors or solenoidal vectors. The Laplacian operator, this is a very important operator. So, if phi is a scalar differentiable field, then grad phi is written like this i dou phi by dou x plus j dou phi by dou y plus k dou phi by dou z. And if you take divergence on that, then each component here is differentiated partially with respect to x, y, z as shown here that is dou by dou x of dou phi by dou x plus dou by dou y of dou phi by dou y plus dou by dou z of dou phi by dou z. If you differentiate dou phi by dou x partially with respect to x again, we get the second derivative partial derivative of phi with respect to x. Similarly, we get second derivative partial derivative with respect to y 
second partial derivative with respect to z coming from this term that is dou square phi by dou z square. So, del dot grad phi can also be written as del square phi this can be verified also a very simple exercise. So, del square phi is now dou square phi by dou x square plus dou square phi by dou y square dou square phi by dou z square and if you take out the uh, phi outside this then we can write it as dou square by dou x square plus dou square by dou y square plus dou square by dou z square operated on phi because each is operated on phi only. So, in that case in this sense the del square del square is written as del square phi is equal to this operator operated on phi. So, del square is equated with dou square by dou x square plus dou square by dou a square plus dou square by dou z square. So, this differential operator del square is called the Laplacian operator. Now, next one is the curl. Let V defines a vector differentiable field, differentiable vector field. Then the curl or rotation of V written as del cross V or curl V is defined by curl V is equal to i j cap in the first row, the second row partial derivatives with respect to x, y, z dou by dou x, dou by dou y, dou by dou z then component of the vector v, v 1, v 2, v 3 in order. So, this is something like evaluation of determinant, but here we need to be very careful that these two should not be multiplied. Instead, we have to differentiate v 3 with respect to y, v 2 with respect to z and other signs remains the same. That you can see here <coughs> i cap into dou v 3 by dou y minus dou v 2 by dou z that is coming from this i cap into dou v 3 by dou y. So, it is not multiplication uh, differentiating v 3 partially with respect to y minus dou v 2 by dou z differentiating partially v 2 with respect to z minus j minus j j is here minus j <coughs> then leave this column this row differentiate v 3 with respect to x dou v 3 by dou x minus dou v 1 by dou z that is the second term here plus the last one k cap into differentiate v 2 with respect to x partially that is dou v 2 by dou x minus differentiate v 1 partially with respect to y that is dou v 1 by dou y that is given in the last term. So, note that in the expression of the determinant the operators these operators partial derivative operators must proceed that means it should be operated on v 1, v 2, v 3 as it comes. The curl of a vector field has a special meaning or a physical significance. If v is a velocity of a particle in a rigid body rotating about a fixed axis with a uniform angular velocity, then half of the curl of that vector v is equal to the angular velocity of the body. In many practical applications, we deal vector fields whose curl is 0 vector such vector fields are called curl free vectors or irrotational vectors. Okay, so let us operate uh, consider these operators and try to solve some problems here. In this problem 1 a scalar function is given a differentiable scalar field phi is equal to 2 x cube y square z power 4. Find divergence of grad phi you know divergence can be operated only on vectors and grad can be operated only on scalar when grad is operated on scalar we get a vector. So, therefore, divergence can be operated on that and remember divergence is a scalar quantity curl is a vector quantity. <coughs> so, we have to find divergence on of grad phi and verify this is the relation I told you just now uh, this can be verified. So, we shall verify that in this particular examination by example. Okay. So, let me uh, 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 establish the result on the board now. So, phi is given we have to find the grad phi. So, phi is given to be 2 x cube y square z power 4 2 x cube y square z power 4. Okay. Okay, so, we need to find 
dive of grad phi dive of grad phi so first we shall find grad phi and then operate divergence on that <coughs> so grad phi or in symbolically del phi uh, this is also the same thing grad phi is i cap do phi by do x plus j cap do phi by do y plus k cap do phi by do psi okay so phi is 2x cube plus 2x cube y square into z power 4 so that means you differentiate this phi with respect to x here so what do we get here with respect to x 6 x square y square z power 4 so remember when you are differentiating partially with respect to x except x other uh, variables are kept constant so with respect to x y z are kept constant so we differentiate only 2 x cube uh, that is 6 x square y square z power 4 plus j cap with respect to y x and z are constant so there is y square here so 4 x cube y square differentiation 2y so 4 x cube into y z power 4 as it is plus <coughs> k cap into with respect to z x y are kept constant so it differentiation of z power 4 is 4 x cube so 4 into 2 8 x cube into y square z cube so this is grad phi this is grad phi and we operate divergence on this that is given by del dot grad phi r dive of grad phi so this is equal to so if you uh, see the definition eh, <coughs> each component is differentiated with respect to x with respect to y with respect to z so this is dou by dou x of 6 x square y square z power 4 plus dou by dou y of 4 x cube y z power 4 plus dou by dou z of 8 x cube x cube y square z cube okay again partially differentiating this expression or this term with respect to x will give you 12 x y square z power 4 plus with respect to y z x and z kept constant 4 x cube into 1 into z power 4 plus with respect to z these two are kept constant so 8 into 3 that is 24 x cube y square z square let me call this as expression 1 result 1 so this is divergence of grad phi so this is the solution to first problem find divergence of grad phi so next we have to verify that or establish the result del dot grad phi is equal to del square phi that is laplacian del square is laplacian okay So del square we know is dou square by dou x square plus dou square dou y square plus dou square dou z square this is the Laplacian operator operated on phi so del square phi means like this operated on phi that means each term is partially differentiating phi twice with respect to x twice with respect to y and twice with respect to z so let me consider a uh, dou phi by dou x first so dou phi by dou x already it is there what is our phi phi is 2 x cube y square z power 4 phi is 2 x cube y square z power 4 so dou phi by dou x is 6 x into 6 x square y square z power 4 z power 4 so therefore dou square phi by dou x square is dou by dou x of dou phi by dou x that means dou by dou x dou phi by dou x is 6 x square y square z power 4 
and this will be 12 x y square z power 4. Now, similarly, dou phi by dou y is 4 x cube y z power 4. So, therefore, dou square phi by dou y square is written as dou by dou y of dou phi by dou y. So, that means dou by dou y dou phi by dou y is 4 x cube y z power 4 and this will be 4 x cube into z power 4 into 1. Now, similarly dou phi by dou z is 8 x cube y square z cube. So, therefore, second order derivative partially with respect to z will give you so dou by dou z dou z of dou phi by dou z. So, this is dou by dou z dou phi by dou z is 8 x cube y square z cube. So, this is with respect to z 24 x cube into y square z square. So, therefore, del square phi del square phi sum of these three quantities that means this plus this plus this the first term being 12 x y square z power 4 a second term is 4 x cube z power 4 plus third term 24 x cube y square z square. So, call this as 2. Now, divergence of grad phi is represented by 1 and del square as represented in 2. So, I can equally easily see this these two are equal. So, therefore, divergence of grad phi can be written as del square phi Laplace of scalar field phi. So, let me consider the second example where again Laplacian is asked to find of r power n, okay, where r is x i plus y j plus z k. Therefore, r magnitude, r means magnitude is root of x square plus y square plus z square. Therefore, r square is x square plus y square plus z square. That is what is given here, where r square is x square plus y square plus z square. And we need to find Laplacian of r power n. Okay. Okay. So, when we write r square as sum of these three terms, x square plus y square plus z square, that means r is function of x, y, z. If you differentiate partially with respect to x, 2 r dou r by dou x is equal to 2 x plus 0 plus 0. So, this can be written as dou r by dou x is equal to x by r. Now, similarly, if you differentiate partially with respect to x, partially with respect to x, dou r by dou y is y by r dou r by dou z is z by r. This you can easily verify differentiating partially with respect to y and then cancelling out 2 you get those two expressions. So, now del square operated on r power n, r power n is a scalar quantity. So, this is dou square r power n dou x square plus dou square r power n dou y square plus dou square r power n dou z square. That means, differentiate r power n twice partially with respect to x, with respect to y, with respect to z and then add both, add on the three terms. So, let me take a, a term wise dou by dou x of r power n first, then I will differentiate partially with respect to x again and arrive what dou square r power n by dou x square. <coughs> okay. 
So, R is function of x, y, z. It is very clear. Right? R is function of x, y, z. So, if you differentiate R power n with respect to x partially, y and z are kept constant. So, n into R power n minus 1 into dou R by dou x. What is dou R by dou x here? Dou R by dou x is x by R. So, this is written as n into r power n minus 1 into x by r. Okay. Now, I have to differentiate once again with respect to x and obtain the first term dou square r power n by dou x square. So, dou square r power n by dou x square is written as dou by dou x of dou r power n by dou x. Systematically, if you write, you need to write all these terms. <coughs> Okay. So, dou r power n by dou x is given by this quantity. So, dou by dou x of n r power n minus 1 into x by r. So, n is constant. So, I will write it here. So, n is constant. So, I can take it outside. So, dou by dou x of r power n minus 1 into x. I will write like this to make it very, very clear. There are three terms here multiplied and all the three terms are functions of x right? in particular r power n minus 1 and r functions of all the three x y z. Okay, so, now we have to apply product rule here. So, what I will do I will keep 2 at a constant and differentiate the term and repeat this. So, n into I will keep these two constants now and differentiate this n minus 1 r power n minus 2 n minus 1 minus 1 n minus 2 into dou r by dou x x and 1 by r are kept constant plus now I will keep these two constants and differentiate x partially with respect that is 1. So, I get r power n minus 1 into 1 into 1 by r plus now I will keep these two constants and differentiate this one plus r power n minus 1 into x differentiation of 1 by r is minus 1 by r square into dou r by dou x that you should not forget. So, this is minus 1 by r square into dou r by dou x close the bracket. Now, substitute for dou r by dou x dou r by dou x is x by r. So, this is equal to n into n minus 1 r power n minus 2 dou r by dou x is x by r into x by r x by r plus this is as it is r power n minus 1 that means you can write r power n minus 2 r power n minus 1 by r you can write it as r power <coughs> n minus 2 plus r power minus now plus into minus that is minus r power n minus 1. Uh, divided by r square. So, that you can write it as r power n minus 3 into x into x by r close the bracket. So, further you can write this as n into n minus 1 r power n minus 2. So, r power n minus 2 by r square. So, that can be r power n minus 4 into x square plus r power n minus 2 minus similarly r power n minus 3 divided by r. So, this can be written as r power n minus 4 into x square. Okay. So, this is the second order partial derivative of r power n with respect to x. Now, similarly <coughs> you can obtain the other two that you can directly write changing x to y. So, similarly partial derivative of r power n with respect to y will be n into n minus 1 r power n minus 4 in place of x you write y y square plus r power n minus 2 minus r power n minus 4 into y square. The third term partial derivative of 
r power n with respect to z twice n into n minus 1 r power n minus 4 into z square plus r power n minus 2 minus r power n minus 4 into z square. Now, let us add all these three terms, then I will get Laplacian of r power n, this plus this plus this. So, you can easily see n can be taken outside, you can keep it outside n. Then <coughs> uh, with these terms 1, 2 and 3, n minus 1 into r power n minus 1 is common. So, I can remove n minus 1 into r power n minus 4. And if you take common factor, you get x square plus y square plus z square. Then you have three such terms here r power n minus 2, r power n minus 2, r power n minus 2. This is 3 times r power n minus 2 and minus similarly here r power n minus 4 is common throughout. So, I can write this as r power n minus 4 times x square plus y square plus z square and close the bracket. <coughs> it is given that r square is x square plus y square plus z square. So, I can write it here. So, n times n minus 1 r power n minus 4. So, this r square it is given in the problem itself plus 3 r power n minus 2 minus r power n minus 4, 4 into r square again. So, you can simplify these two r power n minus 4 plus into r square r power n minus 4 plus 2 that is r power n minus 2. So, this into n minus 1 r power n minus 2 plus 3 r power n minus 2 minus r power n minus 2. So, r power n minus 2 comes out now. So, n into r power n minus 2 into n minus 1 plus 3 minus 1. So, this is plus 3 minus 2 that is n plus 1. So, n into n plus 1 r power n minus 2. So, this is the answer to this problem. You can verify this n into n plus 1 times r power n minus 2. Okay, look at this problem now. <coughs> Prove that gradient of divergence vector r divided by its magnitude r is 2 into vector r divided by r cube, where r is x i plus y j plus z k. Okay. <coughs> so, in this case, first we have to find the vector r divided by its magnitude, then operate divergence on that, you get a scalar quantity, then operate gradient on this. So, let me uh, <coughs> take this problem here. So, given r is x i plus y j plus z k, this is the vector r and its magnitude is without that bar r is its magnitude. So, this is its magnitude is root of x square plus y square plus z square. So, therefore, r square we need r square here. So, let me write this r square is x square plus y square plus z square. Right. Now, divergence what is the vector r by its magnitude? Uh, divide each quantity a vector r is this divided by r means x by r x by r i cap y by r y by r j cap z by r k cap. So, I am with vector r divided by r. Now, divergence I have to apply on this divergence of vector r by r is dou by dou x of v 1 uh, x divided by r plus dou by dou y of y by r plus dou by dou z of z by r. 
Okay, let me take the first term now dou by dou x of x by r. <coughs> As I told you, r is function of both x, y, z and you are differentiating partially with respect to x. Both numerator and denominator are functions of x here. So, you need to apply quotient rule. I think you remember this quotient rule denominator square r square r into v into du by dx that is the uh, r into differentiation of x partially with respect to x that is 1 minus x into differentiation of r with respect to x partially dou r by dou x. So, in the last examples I think I have written here dou r by dou x is x by r dou r by dou y is y by r similarly dou r by dou z is z by r. <coughs> We derived in fact in the previous problem. So, let us consider this r minus x into x by r x by r divided by r square. Okay. Now, if you simplify r square minus x square, okay, this is a very simple calculation. You take LCM r, it will become r square minus x into x x square r comes to the denominator there already r square is there. So, r square into r r cube okay. or if you divide this r square by r cube 1 by r minus x square by r cube x square by r cube. Okay. Now, this is the first term partially differentiating x by r with respect to x. Now, similarly, you get the other three or two terms partially differentiating y of y by r is 1 by r. You can directly write looking at this, you just change x to y. So, y square divided by r cube. Then similarly, dou by dou z of z by r is also equal to 1 by r minus z square by r cube. Now, I need to sum up all the three expressions in order to find divergence. So, divergence of vector r by its magnitude r is equal to <coughs> this plus this plus this that means this plus this plus this as you see there are three 1 by r's 1 by r plus 1 by r plus 1 by r. So, I can straight away write 3 by r then minus 1 by r cube is common now 1 by r cube 1 by r cube 1 by r cube into x square plus y square plus z square. So, conveniently you can write like this r cube 1 by r cube into x square plus y square plus z square. You know that x square plus y square plus z square is r square. So, this is 3 by r minus 1 by r cube into r square. So, you have so cancel out 1 r square here. So, 3 by r minus 1 by r. So, 3 minus 1 is 2 by r. So, this is the divergence of the vector r divided by r. Now, we have to take gradient on this. So, gradient definition another simple task here. So, therefore, gradient of gradient of divergence of vector r by r. So, this is the <coughs> divergence of vector r by r this is the one. So, <coughs> i dou by dou x of phi. So, phi is 2 by r a plus j dou by dou by of 2 by r plus k dou by dou z of 2 by r. So, this is the gradient provided we differentiate this we get the answer here. So, this is equal to i cap with respect to x. Uh, numerator is constant to 
and the diameter r is function of both all the three x, y, z. So, if we differentiate 1 by r minus 1 by r square that means 2 already there minus 2 by r square into dou r by dou x. Similarly, plus j minus 2 by r square. So, with respect to y are differentiating dou r by dou y plus k minus 2 by r square dou r by dou z. Okay. Substitute for dou r by dou x, x by r, y by r and z by r. So, this is equal to, so minus 2 we can write outside right? uh, <coughs> 1 by r square into x by r minus 2 j 1 by r square into y by r. So, minus 2 k 1 by r square into z by r. So, what do we get now? <coughs> so, this is equal to minus 2 i x by r cube i cap i cap okay minus 2 j y by r cube minus 2 k z by r cube. So, this can be r cube is a scalar quantity. So, you can write it as minus 2 by r cube into x i plus y j plus z k and x i plus y j plus z k is represented by vector r. So, this is equal to minus 2 into vector r divided by r cube. Okay. This is the answer as uh, shown here minus 2 into vector r by r cube. Okay. Now, coming to the problem 4, <coughs> Laplacian of log r, this is a log function here, where r again a vector x i plus y j plus z k and we need to show Laplacian on this log r and obtain the result 1 by r square. This is also a simple uh, task here. So, we know that del square is Laplacian operator <coughs> log r. Okay. So, we, we need to find del square of log r, where r is given to be x i plus y j, where r is x i plus y j plus z k. So, therefore, we can write r square as x square plus y square plus z square or similar problem intercorrected. Inter Okay. <coughs> so, del square log r log r is the Laplacian operator. No, this is so del square log r that is twice differentiate partially with respect to x <coughs> plus twice differentiate log r partially with respect to y plus twice you differentiate log r with respect to z. So, we shall find term by term. So, uh, if you know the answer for the first term, second and third term you can look at that and write down. <coughs> so, let me write first dou by dou x of log r. Remember r is a function of x y z, therefore log r is also a function of uh, x y z. <coughs> okay. So, this is log differentiation 1 by r into partial derivative of r with respect to x, dou r by dou x. So, in the last two problems we have seen that uh, dou r by dou x is x by r. Similarly, dou r by dou y, y by r, dou r by dou z, z by r. So, substitute here. <coughs> so, this is 1 by r into x by r, 
r this is x divided by r square okay let me differentiate once again so i get dou square of log r by dou x square this is nothing but dou by dou x of dou log r by dou x so if you write conveniently systematically you have to write like this so this is equal to dou by dou x of x by r square okay <coughs> so now x is a function of x and r square r is a function of x y z so like in the previous problem we have to apply quotient rule here so okay start here <coughs> denominator square is the advanced mathematics one results quotient rule 1 by r power that is r square whole square r square whole square that is r power 4 r square into 1 minus x differentiation of r square partially with respect to x so 2r into do r by do x 2r into do r by do x so what do we get here so this is r square minus 2 x into r do r by do x is x by r and this is divided by r power 4 so i can cancel out one r there so this will be equal to r square minus 2 x square divided by r power 4 or you can write this as 1 by r square minus twice x square divided by r power 4 so looking at this you can similarly write the other two do square log r log r by do y square will be 1 by r square minus 2 y square divided by r power 4 and similarly do square of log r with respect to z that's dot z square is 1 by r square minus 2 z square divided by r power 4 so i need to add all the three expressions 1 2 and 3 and looking at the three expressions there are some common quantities so i can straight away write so del square of log r will be 1 by r square plus 1 by r square plus 1 by r square 3 divided by r square and minus 2 by r power 4 is also common throughout so minus 2 divided by r power 4 x square from here plus y square plus z square x square plus y square plus z square we know that x square plus y square plus z square is r square so this is 3 divided by r square minus 2 divided by r4 into r square you cancel out 1 eh? r square so you get 3 by r square minus 2 by r square so 3 by s2 is 1 the answer is 1 by r square so <coughs> we were supposed to prove laplacian of log r is 1 by r square So that has been established here. <coughs> There is another similar example. Here, scalar is multiplied to a vector. R power n into R, that is gradient of R power n into R, is equal to n plus three into R power n, where R is given by x i plus y j plus z k. Okay. we shall proceed with a similar kind of uh, <coughs> substitution uh, similar kind of startups here r is given so therefore its magnitude you can find out so if you square both side you get uh, r square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square then we have seen all these results earlier in the earlier problems do r by do x <coughs> will be x by r do r by do y will be y by r do r by do z will be z by r now i will take gradient on r power n dot vector r so here scalar <coughs> into this is into sorry grad power n into r 
So this is So gravity is applied on this. So abundance. So as similar to the previous problem, there is a small error here. So I caps are missing here. So I'll skip this. So finally, gradient on this r power into r will result into this, uh, as shown in this particular uh, expression, r power n into x square n r power n minus two r power n etcetera etcetera etcetera. When we add all the three, we get 10 plus 3 power r power n. Okay. So, this example proves that Laplacian of f of r is f double dash r plus 2 by r into f dash r. This is uh, similar to the uh, problem which I explained just a uh, few minutes ago. <coughs> so, r has the same meaning here. So, r square is x square plus y square plus z square and you have all these results. We have already seen this. We have in fact obtained this result. <coughs> so, Laplacian is applied on f of r. So, that means you will differentiate f of r twice partially with respect to x with respect to y with respect to z and add all the three uh, terms. So, let me uh, differentiate first partially with respect to x of f of r. So, f of r is a function of x y z. It is very clear from here. f of r is a function of x y z. So, you get f dash r into dou, dou r by dou x differentiating partially. So, that means this is equal to f dash r dou r by dou x is x by r. So, x by r is written here. Again, if you differentiate partially with respect to x dou square by dou x square, that means you are differentiating this again partially with respect to x. So, like in the previous problem, you have three terms here, f dash r one term, x another term, 1 by r another term. So, we differentiate product of three terms of x factors now, three factors of x, f, f dash r is function of x by z, r is function of x by z and x is function of x. So, when we do so, keeping two constant at a time constant differentiating the third one, we get f double dash r into dou r by dou x, x by r plus f dash r 1 by r into 1 plus f dash r into x differentiation of 1 by r partially with respect to x 1 by r square into dou r by dou x. Okay, that is the same thing is written here, uh, it is a substituting for dou r by dou x, x by r. So, f double dash r into x square by r square plus f dash r 1 by r, this does not have that complexity like this. So, f dash r minus f dash r x square by r square. Uh, <coughs> when we similarly, we get the other two terms like this just replacing x by y and uh, x by z. And when we add all the three results, three results, we get f double dash r x square plus y square plus z square by r square plus f dash r by r minus f dash r times x square plus y square plus r square z square and when we substitute for x square plus y square plus z square r square, we get this term and when we simplify this, we get f double dash plus 1 by r f of r. So, in this problem, we have to find divergence of a vector field, but vector is given as gradient of x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 x y z. So, first we have to find the gradient of this scalar phi is equal to x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 x y z and then take the divergence. So, to find uh, gradient let phi be this quantity x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 x y z and grad phi which is the vector f is i dou phi by dou x plus j dou phi by dou y plus k dou phi by dou z phi is given by this. So, each term you partially differentiate with respect to x and second term with respect to y and z so on. So, if you do so, you get i times 3 x square minus 3 y z plus j 3 y square minus 3 x z plus k 3 z square minus 3 x y and now f is a vector you can take the divergence, but f is grad phi. So, grad phi is a vector 
when you take divergence that means you differentiate each component first one with respect to x partially plus second one with respect to x y partially plus third third term with respect to z partially. So, when you do so dou by dou x of this term plus dou by dou y of this term plus dou by dou z of 3 z square minus 3 x y. So, if you differentiate partially with respect to x you get 6 x these are all constant. So, 0 plus with respect to y 6 y and x z constant with respect to y with respect to z x y is constant. So, differentiate only z terms 6 z. So, you get 6 x plus 6 y plus 6 z from this uh, 3 x uh, terms and when you add this 6 times x plus y plus z. So, this is the answer to this problem uh, divergence of grad of a scalar. Okay. So, in this problem so I, I told you in the definition of divergent some vectors are having <coughs> no divergence, divergence free such vectors are called solenoidal that means divergence is 0 or it is also called as solenoidal vector. Okay. So, f is given here. So, you just take the divergence on this dou by dou x of 2 x square z plus dou by dou y of minus 10 x y z plus dou by dou z of 3 x z square. So, when you do partially differentiate with respect to x get 4 x z minus 10 uh, there is only y here. So, 10 x z with minus sign plus 6 x z if differentiating partially with respect to z. So, 4 x z minus 10 x z plus 6 x z 6 x z plus 4 x z is 10 x z. So, 10 x z minus 10 x z is 0. So, divergence is 0 means f is solenoidal or divergence free. So, here a similar problem find the value of the constant a so that the vector field is solenoidal. So, for what value of a this vector the divergence of this vector becomes 0 that is the question here. So, let us assume that this is solenoidal that means divergence is 0. So, when you take the divergence dou by dou x of x plus 3 y plus dou by dou y of y minus 2 z plus dou by dou z of x minus a z. So, there is a here. Okay. When you differentiate partially with respect to x you get 1 from here this is y is constant with respect to x 0 plus with respect to y 1 from here 2 z constant with respect to y then with respect to z 0 minus a into 1 that is minus a. So, 1 plus 1 plus minus a that is 1 plus 1 minus a equal to 0. So, a is equal to 2. So, for the value a is equal to 2 this vector f is solenoid. So, in this problem find the divergence at the point. So, here what we do as usual we find the divergence and for all x y z we give the values. So, this will be considered in my next lecture. Thank you.